Hello, my creative friend, Olga Sub here. Welcome to new fluid acrylic painting tutorial. Today, I want to create a piece with a very simple yet super striking color palette. I want to work with black, gold, and red. To make it a little more interesting, I want to also add some silver. And my red, it's not um, pure red, it's actually some red and a little bit of red violet and red with a little bit of orange. Also, to bring diversity to this color palette. And not so long ago, I did a piece, a huge rainbow, and I added gold right over the black first before adding any other colors on top. And that created such a beautiful effect, like a glowing behind the colors. So I want to expand on it. I want to do the same thing. I want to have black base with gold on top, but instead of rainbow, I want to use just my red colors. So let's see how that's gonna turn out. So let's get started. Sophistication is a secret message today. I'm working on a pretty small canvas. It's pretty, it's 12 by 24 inches. And decided to go work just on black. Usually I create multicolor bases, but for this one I want to go just black. And I prepare my back, prepare my sides as always for the canvas. What is your favorite color palette? Is there anything that really speaks to you? I am enjoying working in purples and violet color family a lot, but something simple like black, white, red, gold, I don't think you can really beat that. It's it's definitely very contrasting. It's it's a this color color combination is a statement. It's not pastel or earthy. It's like boom, bright and colorful. Maybe that's what I like about it. But what about you? What is your you know one of most sophisticated and favorable color combinations? Let me know in the comments below. Let's start layering those colors. By the way, even if you're applying your base color, the same uh, using spatula, always tilt it out after to help colors level out. This way, when you blow over this base, the colors will just flow much smoother. So for my composition, I want to add uh, droplets of colors. I'm going to take it to the corner. So go sort of like bound towards the top. Okay, this is plenty of gold for sure. On top of that, I want to have some silver. Oh, you know what? Actually, first I want to add some white. And now some silver. This piece will definitely have very minimal negative space, be negative space because I'm adding a lot of paint. So now the reds. So this was permanent magenta with a touch of red and a touch of orange. This is permanent magenta with a touch of red and with a touch of, touch of red violet. So you can see this one is much darker. Looks like pretty neat design already. Would you ever be interested to see this type of design? You know, not blowouts or not swipes, but more like rounded blobs or dots of color? Let me know, because even that, there's definitely something about it. I don't know how that will dry though, because right now these sections have pretty thick uh, paint and it increases chances of cracking, but I mean, maybe I should just go ahead and try one day. Mm 
have a plan, let's blow it out. Oh, that's not exactly how I planned it, but something just went wrong, especially with the top one. Don't worry about them being so detached, because I will connect them. Magic. Magic of finger swipe. All of a sudden, everything is like brought together into beautiful floral design. I don't really like this little thing here. Oh, there's me. This is better, but we'll need to touch it up, as always. Sometimes it's so much easier than keep messing with it and eventually breaking the design. This design looks so much like beautiful orchids. That's the flower that I see in it. And I don't think I want to do anything else. This red permanent magenta mixed with some red and see, yeah, it's some sections where it's brighter and warmer, some darker and cooler. This way it looks like, you know, it's a little more dimensional and it just stands out, it jumps off the black base. And I love it. I don't want to change anything more. This floral design is done. Let's see how it dries. This piece dried quite perfectly, but I still decided to do a few very minor touch-ups. I wanted to correct a few lines here and there just to make them a perfection. And as always, I do all of these corrections with the same acrylics as I used for the fluid painting process itself. So a few lines here and there. I also wanted to sign this piece and wow here it is all done and finished i covered it with a layer of glossy varnish and this piece is easily one of my most favorite of all the floral pieces that i have ever created it is just so sensual so moving so elegant there is just the perfect balance between all the vibrant colors the negative space it just really speaks to myself what do you think how do you like the outcome and in this piece, the gold, the golden base is what made it extra special. The silver and that magenta, they work just wonders together. And I really think that I want to recreate this painting in a larger scale on a larger um, canvas. What do you think? Would you like to see how this design and similar design, not exactly this, but similar design would look on their bigger painting? let me know and of course let me know how do you like the outcome if you give this a try please tag me on social media i would love to see your beautiful creations thank you so much for joining me today take care create with passion and i'll see you in the next one bye bye